Welcome to the tutorial on mixing and adding effects to your sequence. I'm going to use Tainted Love as my example. Here's my sequence. I'll just give you a little play of it. As you can hear, it uh, sounds good, but not quite nice enough yet so we're going to add some effects to it to make it sound a bit better maybe some reverb and tweak a couple of the levels and things like that the first thing i'm going to do is press f3 now f3 brings up the mixer there we go there's the mixer you can also press f2 if you want to use the transport bar see f2 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 fantastic the mixer, let's have a look at it. It has several different types of channels. The channels with these little bits here, which have the almost looks like a, a keyboard thing, is, a, is an instrument channel. Can you see this bit here? The bit next to it with these funny sort of line things, they're MIDI channels. Now we're not going to touch the MIDI channels at all because they send the information to reason. They don't actually produce sound. So we're not going to mix any of them. The ones we're going to mix are these ones that look like a funny box with some sort of spatula sticking out of it. <clears throat> these are the uh, the rewire channels. And they send the sound back into Cubase from Reason. It's important to, to realize this because this is where the sound ends up in Cubase. So this is where we're going to mix. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is identify the different sounds that are coming back at me. So all I do is press play. Then while I'm pressing play, I'm going to solo each channel to find out what they are by pressing S. So here's my kick drum. With my kick drum, I'm going to change the name of the channel to kick drum. I do that by double clicking on the channel name and then writing kick drum that way I know that the rewire sound coming back at me is the kick drum I'm going to do this with every single piece of rewire that comes back in so if you have a look, two snares here so I'm going to name them snare one and snare two Now because they're both the same sound, I'm going to make sure that they sound good in relation to each other, so make sure they've just got the right sound, mix them. Then, holding down shift, I can select them both together. This is useful because then if I right click, it will give me the option to link them, which I'm going to do. So both the snares are the same together. That means they'll both solo when I press solo, and they'll both move at the same time with the faders. Very useful for mixing. Okay, I'm still looking for sounds. I'm just gonna wind it back a little bit. These two here seem to be the same sound as well. Let's have a listen. That's the bass. So what I'm going to do with the bass, because it's actually a stereo sound, because it's coming out of two channels, I'm going to name it bass left and bass right. Then I'm going to move the right hand one, the panning, all the way over to the right hand side. And then the left hand one, the panning all the way over to the left hand side. So we get a stereo image. Then, holding down shift, I select them both together, right click and link them. I'm going to continue to do this on the rest of the mixer.
Okay, so I've now managed to name all of my sounds down the bottom here, as you can see. Strings, kick drum, snare, blah, 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 blah. There we go. The only one I haven't done yet is the vocals, so I'm just going to do the vocals quickly. Just Now, as you can see, there's loads of channels that haven't been used. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to Devices, then go down to the Reason Rewire panel. Now that will bring this up. I'm going to press F2 to get rid of the transport bar. And what I'm going to do is anyone that doesn't have a name on the right-hand side, I'm going to turn off. So watch. Channel 8 is going off. Channel 9 is going off. Oops. Channel 16. What this does is it means that these channels will no longer sharpen the mix, which is useful because it means it gives you some sort of separation. So any channel that doesn't have a name is now out the way. Lovely. Now when I look at the mixer, each of the sounds are next to each other. There's quite a few sounds there. 